What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Red Hot channel. Today we're going to be working in the shop. I mean, garage. Sorry. This is not a shop. This is a two-stall garage. Got to get that figured out. Um, so today we're going to be working in the garage on the newest project. Uh, so here it is. This is a uh, 240SX S14. This is the uh, Rabbit JZ's uh, project car called uh, Rice Box. This is a 2JZ powered uh, 240SX. The same, you find these motors mostly in Toyota Supras. I believe this one came out of a Lexus of some kind, an NA, actually aspirated Lexus, but it's now turbocharged and ready to rip. But uh, we're gonna go over what we're gonna do today. Not really gonna per se work on it, but just kind of give you guys a game plan of what's gonna happen in the next few videos. And I'm gonna try to get stay on top of this. I'm not gonna dilly dally around. I'm gonna try to remember to grab the cameras while I'm actually working instead of uh, work, work, work. And then it's like, oh dang, I forgot the camera. So I'm gonna try to do it while I'm working instead of after I'm working. So here we go. This is the rundown on the car and this is what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so here is the intake that we did a while back in a couple other video, uh, was it a few videos back or something like that. There had holes in the runners. So we fixed all those holes and honestly, you cannot even tell that those holes were there. Uh, we also did, we put this alpha lock on the throttle body and it came out pretty well for the most part. Um, on the other side of the motor, come over here and then we come to this work of art that's over here. Uh, this is a custom built turbo manifold by uh, Humboldt Engineering. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I'm, yeah, I could be pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. I'm horrible at things, uh, saying stuff here and there. And I'm rambling again. I need to stop. Okay, so this thing, most turbo kits uh, that you get on like a 2J stuff, um, turbos usually sit in this vicinity of an area. Not this one. This one is sitting down here. It is in the uh, front bumper, which is awesome, I think. Um, but obviously there are some small issues which um, everybody knew about the Humboldt that built this. Um, Manifold knew that we were gonna go tubular on this and Sean already knew we were going tubular on this. So we're going tubular on this. Um, so obviously you can see right here that we have some issues with the frame and the turbo and they're running into each other. It's just not gonna work. So um, my original plan before I even got the car, I was gonna cut it clear back here where the shock towers are and down, but obviously can't do that. I did not realize that the uh, control arms run forward instead of backwards like uh, most cars or yeah, okay. So instead what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna chop it here now and then tubular forward from there. We're also gonna take probably this and just kind of knock this down, cut this area right here where my hand's at, knock all this out and just kind of run a tube, a little bolty uh, bolt. We're gonna weld a uh, tube right to this and then run it forward to the tube that's gonna be here because this is all gonna be dropped down. It's not gonna sit high like it is now. It's gonna sit actually lower. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, uh, I'll probably put an angle on it and just kind of have it sit lower than what factory is. That way everything is out of the way for this enormous turbo. Uh, I'm not sure what size it is. You'll have to get on the uh, Rabbit Jay-Z channel and he will definitely tell you what type uh, the uh, everything is done to like the motor and the turbo and whatnot. I'm just fabricating. So um, yeah, so like I said, we're gonna chop it here and then we're also gonna chop it over here, obviously. Run it forward, run it forward. Clean all this up. Um, I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna take this piece out yet. Uh, I'm gonna get with Sean and see what he exactly wants to do. He did give me free reign on this thing, but uh, I still would like to okay things with him before I start going to Chop City on this car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this uh, fender mount area here just because it'll make my life a little bit easier on uh, alignment and stuff for the fenders and the headlights. Uh, this stuff right here will be Gandhi, Gandhi, but yeah, we all tube there. Um, might try to run a tube from up here down to give it some more support. I don't honestly think it needs it, but 
it wouldn't hurt to put it there considering a lot of this is going to be gone and you know who knows i might change a few things uh, a lot of the the writing of the tubes and stuff are kind of in the way a little bit so once i get everything chopped off then we get a real good direction of what's going on this is kind of a uh, a rough cut basically of what we're going to be doing uh, but other than the front end we're going to uh, also mount the uh, intercooler and make new mounts for the intercooler and new mounts for the uh, radiator uh, before the radi uh, intercooler actually sat further forward, so I, I actually I can um, yeah hold on. Actually, the uh, the intercooler used to sit a little bit further forward, so uh, it wasn't even lining up here. So we're gonna move the intercooler further back, uh, along the and the uh, radiator further back. So it'll be a little closer if that works. I don't know because this is gonna be uh, super close to there unless we can I don't know I wonder if they make like a little AN fitting or something like that we can turn an AN or something like that I don't know get a shot on that one too uh, so we, we'll yeah we'll try to move that back and hopefully that works out for us um, another thing is uh, most intercoolers the the, uh, intake, the inlet ports on these things they sit on the bottom side so they're offset and they usually sit below uh, but this one where the turbo is it actually sat the inlet was here the turbo was up here Obviously, it's not gonna work uh, Lining up wise and we thought about running the whole intake over here and yada yada, but no that ain't gonna work either. So uh, um, Yesterday when we dropped the car off we kind of Went over a little bit and we decided oh, we'll just uh, take the intercooler and Flip it upside down and you know what the dang thing as I roll it in here dang near lines right up so that's gonna work out awesome the turbo is basically gonna we're just gonna make it to where it bolts right to the this thing we'll make this to where it can move a little bit obviously um, but at the same time there is gonna be alpha locks on this so uh, it's got to be perfect so that'll be fun can't wait for that uh, and then we get on this side we're also gonna do um, Three and a half. This is a three and a half, and this is three inch. So we're gonna make a uh, transition from three and a half to three inch. He has a three inch alpha lock for that, I believe, and a three inch alpha lock for that one over there. So we're running full alpha locks on this thing, which are super pricey, uh, but are super nice at the same time. Um, so as you can see, like this move back, this is gonna be super super uh, close. I do have uh, an old three and a half inch piece. This came off my Trans Am. This is with the blow-off valve. We might actually use this thing, but uh, we'll kind of just, once we get it all chopped off and see where it all fits. But honestly, I mean, just kind of give an idea that actually looks pretty cool with the valve like that and everything. So just kind of knock it down there, maybe do the transition right after the elbow or something like that. That's to where we put it to three inch. Make that look awesome, so. So this is all going to be tubular, and yeah, so yeah, there, there's the front end. Another thing we're going to be doing is the cage. We're putting a cage in this thing, and it's about time. He's been running mid sixes in the eight, and he's wanting to do some more, some quarter, I think, quarter mile stuff. So we need to get some, we need to get a cage in this thing. Uh, safety wise, safety is super important, and this thing is basically a beer can on wheels. There's not a lot to it. <laughs> so having a cage in there is super important. And this is uh, all the tubes to that. It's supposed to be all pre-notched. I'm not sure, quite sure where he got it all, but uh, we'll get to that. If anything's not notched or needs a little tweaking, I do have my Rogue Fab tube bender so we can tweak things as we need them. But there's that. Oh, I did get another thing that we're gonna be doing. A couple other extra things we're gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna make a uh, catch can set up for this. Gotta fill this hole back up because the old exhaust we had it running out here and out this fender. So that we're gonna change that. So that was kind of a, a waste last year. That was a late night when we did that. Uh, but we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and fill this hole back up and we'll do a uh, catch can right here and make that fill that hole up, make it look clean. 
and he'll have somewhere out of the uh, catch can kind of out of the way I really like to have my catch cans in the middle of the car area that way it's not underneath the tire if it does overfill but uh, there really isn't a whole lot of room so we'll just kind of put it there and hope for the best and hopefully he drains it normally regularly so the exhaust obviously uh, for the downpipe uh, we were planning on coming out here, but clearance wise, it's just not gonna work at all. There's just no way. So we're gonna go ahead and do a hood stack on it. And um, that should look sweet. And I'll get more into that once we get towards it. I don't wanna get it out because that's, it's, it's a really cool piece and I'd like to show you guys later on in another video on that one. But yes, we will be running hood stack out here and probably run something kind of like you know maybe curve it out and then run it also right in front so it'd be two stacks so that'll look super cool getting really cool pictures on the when he's on the uh, two-step and whatnot but that is that's gonna call it for this one guys um i know i was rambling on a little bit on a lot of it and i'm yeah so getting kind of used to all this uh, showing you guys what I'm doing as I'm doing it so bear with me I'm going to try my best to uh, pick up a camera and show you guys as I'm doing it instead of after I'm doing it um, type deal so this is the uh, what's about to happen to this car and uh, I hope you guys follow along because this is going to be a really cool build and I'm super excited about it and I plan on starting on chopping it up probably this weekend today is Sunday so maybe midweek, I'll start chopping it up. Maybe, we'll see. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I will catch you guys later and uh, follow along because this is gonna be a cool build.